will do it taking responsibility by Brian Moses and Mike Gordon. Are you a responsible person? Can you be trusted to do things on your own? Do you clean your room, pick up your toys? Or do you say that you will do these things, do them badly or not do them at all? Learning to be responsible begins with being responsible for yourself, what you do and how well you do it. Do you have to be reminded to comb your hair and clean your teeth? Do you wait until your mom turns red in the face and shouts out loud? Or do you think about these things yourself and make sure they get done? If you take responsibility for a few small jobs around the house, this can be very helpful. From today onwards, you could make your bed, you could water the plants, and you could keep your room tidy. Sometimes you might be asked to be responsible for someone else. Quick, grab your brother and look after him while I talk on the phone, please. Help get your baby sister dressed, please, while I pop into the garage. You'll have to keep your baby sister out of the kitchen while I'm cooking. When someone isn't feeling very well or has had an accident, they'll be glad to know that you will help. The heat is too much. I've got an awful headache. You just sit down indoors and I'll bring you a cold drink. Stay there. Don't move. I'll get a plaster. Taking responsibility for your pets is a sign that you are really becoming a responsible person. Make sure that you remember to feed them each day. Clean them out yourself, but make sure you don't lose them around the house. How well you take care of things is also a sign of how responsible you are. Anything left lying around can easily get damaged, so remember to put books back on the shelves. Put your cassette tapes away in their boxes. If you don't, they can easily be unwound. You also have a responsibility to treat expensive equipment with great care. Remember to wipe your hands clean before you start using the computer. Being sensible in shops or in the street is another sign that you are becoming a responsible person. Just listen to that little girl. Did I used to behave like that? <laughs> You used to shout and yell and run away too. I don't do that now. I prefer to help out. I'm much more grown up. When they see that you are really behaving responsibly, your parents may ask you to run errands for them. I don't want to drag these heavy bags into that shop. Can you nip in and get a paper, please? I'll watch you from here. Now run inside and take the city back to the music library, please, while I wait. You will also need to learn to take responsibility for your possessions. If you take your favorite toy with you to the cafe, then you must remember to bring it home again. Make sure you remember your ballet shoes or your football kit or your karate outfit after you've had a lesson. Don't leave them sitting around in the clock room. They can easily get lost. When you are at school, your teachers will notice if you can behave sensibly and they will give you important jobs to do taking the register to the school office, keeping the library books tidy, making sure the pencils are sharpened, taking care of the goldfish. Once you know that you can be responsible for yourself and your actions, then everyone will trust you with important jobs to do. <laughs> they will see that you are growing up and becoming a responsible person. So, oh, how are you doing so far? How high would you score on the responsibility-o-meter? Mm -hmm.